Good morning, everyone. It is 10 o'clock on this brisk Thursday morning here in Southfield, Michigan. And we are pleased to welcome you here to today's uh, episode of Action Academy, where we'll talk about coverage for one and how it can help uh, benefit you and your clients in the under 65 market. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Randy Lober, Learning Development Specialist here at Action Benefits. And what that means is uh, my the sole purpose of my job is to make it easier for you to uh, sell insurance, right? So whether it's providing sessions like these, whether it's providing educational emails or blogs or all those kinds of things, uh, anything that's coming out there to help it make it a little bit easier to do in, to do the business of insurance, that's what I'm here to help you with. Joining me here today is one of our account managers from our individual team, Renee Tabal. Renee would like you to say hi as well before we get started. Hi, Randy. Hello to everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I'm on the individual team and I am an account manager. So our team looks forward to helping uh, all the agents out this uh, busy AEP season. So please don't hesitate to reach out to us and we are happy to help. All right. And thank you for joining us here, Renee. Uh, Renee is going to, of course, share her knowledge and expertise with us, but also help us out with the chat and Q&A. So if you have a question today, I, either way is OK to submit it for us here today. Uh, we are happy to help and answer any questions you have throughout today's session. All that said, because today is a live demo, um, if you're used to seeing my smiling face in, in uh, webinars and things like that, I am going to turn my camera off today just so you don't have to see my thinking face when I'm trying to find stuff on the screen and stick my tongue out at you and all that kinds of stuff. But I am here, it is live, and we are ready to go on with the show. So, you are looking here at demoagent.coverageforone.com. And the reason I bring you here is because it's a personalized shopping link uh, for a demo agent in this case. And you all, should you partner with Action in the under 65 market in any capacity, will ha do have access to a link of your own that is customizable. But to give you a little, little bit of historical context, Coverage for One has been around for a long time, back in the pre-ACA days. Uh, it was an exclusive individual enrollment process or platform for Blue Cross Blue Shield Michigan. As the market and indeed the marketplace have continued to evolve, uh, we've put a lot of investment in here, expanded its capabilities to deal with off-market enrollments, on-market enrollments, and Medicare quoting and enrollment as well. Today's focus is really on the individual and family plans, uh, but if you're interested in that Medicare quoting, and what that experience looks like, I'm happy to talk more with you as well as anyone in our individual team. So if that's briefly what the plat where the platform has been and where it is, let's talk about the good stuff. How do you use the darn thing? So I'm here at demoagent.coverageforone.com and we uh, there's a, want to point out a few things here. So this is AA Agents, our demo agents personalized shopping link. Up here in the corners, there's a home screen, which will take you here. There's an agent login button, which we'll come to a little bit later. There's also this get a quote button. And then that's important because it is how your consumers will, you guessed it, get a quote should you provide this link to them in the email or anything else. Uh, so they can go shopping and quote and enroll their own coverage. We should also point out that the information down here is customizable. So if you'd like your logo or your face rather than John Q agent's picture here, uh, you'd like your contact information, phone number, fax, and email. That is just as doable as well when you partner with us and customize your own coverage for one uh, portal. I want to show you a bit of what that consumer journey looks like first so you're prepared to talk to your consumers about it before we dig under the hood on the agent side. So I'm going to get a quote. And you'll, your face and, and logo is ever present up there so they know exactly who's I support them here today. Again, your agent login button is always always here if you need to go to the agent side. There are some breadcrumbs that tells you what steps you have to do. But the first thing we're going to deal with is why are we applying today? So we'll choose that qualifying event. Or if you are looking for adult-only vision, that's a possibility here. Or dental or dental with vision coverage. Again, that don't require QLEs. But let's say we have a, cu a customer uh, that we have on the hand that maybe has a qualifying life event. Maybe they had a child, and I did this when I, my first child was born. The day I, we were in the hospital, I was like, you know what? That kid needs insurance. So maybe the kid was born here today, 10, 19, 2023. 
I don't have a birth certificate yet, but I do have an application for a birth certificate that I could file here. Um, so you do have an option to upload that supporting documentation here right away and get it off to wherever it needs to go as part of the application. If you don't have that supporting QLE documentation, of course, you can submit it later. And there are directions for submitting it to our under 65 partner carriers in the off-market space, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan and Blue Care Network, as well as Priority Health down here. I'm going to go ahead and choose my effective date. I can either choose that date of event or the first month following the date of application. Again, when I'm dealing off-market versus on-market, the rules here might be a little bit different. And again, depending on QLE here as well. Uh, but let's say for this particular case, we're looking for that coverage to start on the date of the event. I want that kid covered. It's going to tell me a bit about myself. My name, my name is Sample, Nick Sample, with an email address of, uh, using my email address, so it has a valid email to look at here. I'm a male. Uh, I am using my birthday. You don't have to get me a gift, but you can. I won't turn it down, I guess. Um, I'm not a tobacco user, but because I have a birth year, I'm also going to add a dependent. So I'm going to add a female. Maybe I had a darling little girl that was born this morning. Uh, she's not a tobacco user. In fact, I can't even choose whether or not she's a tobacco user. Uh, but once I have that information, I can click continue. And there's an important question here to answer. Is anyone here Medicare eligible? If yes, then uh, that's going to take you down one pathway. If no, that's going to take you down another pathway here. But because I'm under 65 and my daughter who was born today is, my hypothetical daughter who was born today is under 65, we're going to click no and continue. The other question that pops up is a subsidy notice. And what this does is gives your consumer the option to either be directed to your personal broker link uh, for on marketplace shopping, which we'll show you a bit later on, or to stay no and say no and stay off marketplace here. For the uh, ease of this particular transition here, we're going to stick off marketplace just for now. But we'll get to on marketplace a little bit later on in today's session here as well. So maybe this person, I don't know, they're a, a day trader living somewhere in Oakland County. They're pulling down a bunch of money. They don't even need to want or see to see a subsidy. We'll click no. And you'll see medical plans loading from our partner carriers, and they uh, do pull that information in real time. So rates are always current from the partner carriers. And your shopping experience, uh, Looks a lot like it might in other platforms here as well, but you get a really clean, clean quote, which I'll show you here in just a moment. So I do have some filters I can choose from first. Maybe I don't want to see everything. Maybe I only want to see PPOs. Uh, my client values that flexibility. And maybe I only want to see PPOs at the silver level. I want that good balance of uh, premium and out-of-pocket costs. And I could see only HSA plans too. I could toggle that on, or I could do any or all of these filters here as well, as set as my maximum price range for what this I might be looking for. As I continue to go down, me as consumer or you as agent could go forward here and I choose a few plans I wanna look at. Maybe because I know I'm shopping off market, I can save a few premium dollars that way. I wanna compare that. Maybe I wanna take a look at the Silver Save HSA, and maybe I want to look at Silver Extra. So what is the difference between those three? If I've checked them here, all the your consumer needs to do, or you would need to do, uh, depending on who is running the quote here, is click Compare Plans. You'll see deductibles compared here. You'll see out-of-network deductibles, out-of-pocket max, and monthly premiums. So you can put those side by side um, and print this comparison. It generates a PDF that you can send off here as well. And if you're... Uh, you or your client, as they probably should, are interested in what exactly is covered under each plan, what the difference is between a PPO Silver and a PPO Silver Extra. You have access to uh, summaries of benefits, plan details, uh, the, the formulary for these specific plans, as well as the provider directories for these carriers here as well. Renee, I want to check in with you real quick. Anything else we need to point out about this about the medical quoting before we move forward in the dental and vision? Uh, no, Brandy, everything looks pretty good. I think it's just very helpful uh, that the agents have all that information up front. Uh, if they're 
doing the quote themselves. Uh, that way you have all the information to enter all at once and not have to reach out to the member to find out if they're a smoker or not. So we find that that's quite helpful to have that all at once up front. Absolutely. And in fact, we'll show you a few reminders that you can get that before you get to the application process here in just a moment. So let's say I've talked with my consumer, they're interested in saving premium dollars, they're searching off marketplace here, they're going to choose the PPO silver off market, we'll click select. And now I have the option to add on dental coverage, I do have a child so I, I need to think about those pediatric benefits. Um, or, of course, I could take a look at any of these adult plans as well and choose vision that way. And I could, of course, choose dental and vision packages together here. So if I want a blue dental PPO 80-50-50 with vision, I can just select that here, get it all bundled up at once. If I want to compare any of these plans, again, that functionality is exactly the same, just checking the box and checking the box and comparing the plans up here. I want the full package here. I want everything bundled together. I don't want to worry about it too much. We're going to go 150-50 in this case with vision and enroll in that plan or select that plan. So I've got my uh, medical summary here. I've got my dental and vision summary here. Again, plan details and provider directories down here as well. So I can make sure everyone is in network. I'll see my your consumer or you could see the total cost per month and they're off to the application phase. Here, there's some more information to put in, but don't worry, what we put in so far is already carried over. So I already have sample of examples name, have their birth date, whether they're a tobacco user. We'll use a dummy so here. They will be a US citizen. I've got an email address and let us use uh, a phone number here and let's call it a cell phone. They happen to live here at the Action Benefits office and uh, their billing address will be the same. Got to put some information here for a dependent here. So this is Baby Sample who was born today. She is uh, my child with her own social to keep up and she would also be a US citizen. So I'll click continue here. Uh, Blue Cross is going to want to know whether you have previous coverage because they do have the opportunity for some cost sharing carry over here uh, if you've had that coverage in the past 60 days. For simplicity's sake, we'll say no, but you can say yes, that is an option there. Check uh, ethnicity here as well. Uh, you'll have a chance to talk about household income, who's paying the premium for that policy. In this case, I'll pay my premium and click continue. Your consumer is off to the review screen where they get to review all their information, review all their selections, or make changes if they would like. Uh, they're seeing where they can email their documentation to. And because I'm the consumer, um, <laughs> I have to attest that I'm re ready to sign this here. And all I've got to do to sign this is put my first name and last name in there twice, so sample, mix sample put in today's date, which is the 19th. It does ask us to view the terms and conditions here. So we'll go forward and read all those things we have to read and be aware of. Click agree. And then I've got an error in my information here. So I, I need to make sure we've listed that here and then click purchase. All right, so what that does is it brings the application into our office or directed to Priority Health, where we'll process it for you. Your, uh, you'll, of course, have to submit binder payments and uh, collect that information from the consumer as you're setting up coverage, uh, but you're well on your way to get that application processed and moving forward. And ladies and gentlemen, in just under, I don't know, four or so minutes, uh, maybe five or so minutes after my opening spiel, your consumer has applied for an off marketplace plan, which is pretty neat and pretty efficient. And the workflow for you uh, looks much the same way, which we'll get there in just a moment. Renee, while I log into the agent side, anything else to add about processing or what happens here behind the scenes? Well, behind the scenes that once the um, submission has been sent over uh, to Action Benefits, one of our one of my teammates along with myself will receive that report and then we will go ahead and process that for the 
for the agent and then uh, send a confirmation that the application has been submitted to the carrier. So that's one of the processes um, and how that works behind the scenes. All right, thank you. We also talked a bit about that agent login and what happens there. So let's take a look over here. I'm gonna log in here to this demo account. And I'll show you a few things here on this side. I'm gonna refresh real quick and see if I get my that to show. Okay. So let's show you show you a few things here on the coverage for one agent facing dashboard uh, before we dig, dive into the on marketplace uh, journey here as well. So first of all, we all know it's important to be able to share your custom link with your agent with your clients. So going across the top here, if I click to share my custom site, I can copy this. I can also share it directly to Facebook if that's where I have to do social media advertising. Great way to get it directly in consumer hands. If I need to change my password or log out, I'm able to do that here. And if I ever want to come back to the screen I'm looking at here, I always have this home button that I can use. On the left-hand navigation, uh, we won't do it this time, but starting a quote on the agent side takes us exactly to what we just did on the consumer side. You're just doing it as an agent now. You'll be able to view things that you have quoting and things you submitted to our office here as well, as well as be brought to our on marketplace partner and our Medicare partner here as well, in addition to having some contact information for your individual team. We'll take a look at the rest of the dashboard and uh, what it does here before we go forward. Here is the notification section, and this is pretty helpful because uh, we all know that there's some new compliance requirements that have been, been handed down by CMS. You've got to get consent from your consumers to work on the marketplace. You've got to have them review their application information each time there's a change to that information, and I'll work from there. So these links live here. They're also available inside insurability. But what they do is they give you fillable PDFs, if I come over here, um, that give you that marketplace consent if you choose to work in on marketplace with that consumer. It gives you put in a model form you can fill out here. There's also a consumer profile. So remember Renee mentioned a, a few moments ago about how it's important to have all the information up front. If you as the agent are running that quote, I, it might be a good practice to put this form in their hands or get it over to them or share this link with them. They can fill in that PDF and return it to you. So name, birthday, gender, uh, gives you dates of QLEs to work through, names of dependents, and all the way down through uh, talking more about their doctors and drugs and so on and so forth, so that you can check those as you run that quote. There's also the review of marketplace eligibility application information, which your consumer has to complete each time they update anything on the marketplace. And again, they'll have to attest or promise that they understand all the attestations here and then complete this information here. We are also happy to custom brand this for any of our agent partners. If you would like to take advantage of that offer, please just reach out to our individual team or your account manager. Happy to get that process started for you. There are, and that's a brief overview, I know, of compliance requirements. We're spending more time on that a little bit in our next week's session where we talk about fundamentals of the under 65 market. And again, on November 1st, the kickoff of OEP, where we're spending some more time diving deep into all the various ways you can get compliance. But wanted to let you know that if you're here in the platform, we're making it pretty easy for you. You have countdowns to when OEP begins. And since we're in AEP for Medicare, kind of when it ends. Down here, there's a few things to point out too. I can see what I have in the quoting phase, what I've submitted over to Action's office. I can see my enrollments year to date and the balance of where my, kit, where my enrollments are at. That gives me a good idea um, what uh, commission tiers I might be working toward. I know effective next year, Blue Cross has eliminated their commission tiering. We're all paid on the same tier now. So, but it's still a nice way to get a colorful representation of your book you submitted through the platform. A few more things to show you on the dashboard before we get over to the marketplace. Again, here this dashboard shows you your off marketplace business. Inside our EDE and our Medicare partners, you'll see your, your on marketplace and your Medicare uh, business respectively. But I can see, for example, that I have 
-hmm. a few quotes in progress. So the person we worked with a, a bit ago, sample, sample, uh, we know that we saw that we started a, an agent quote for them because I was already logged in here. The date they wanted, the effective date they wanted, they didn't choose any products yet. I also have the option to see more information about that person. So if I want to reach out to their phone number, if that's been collected yet, or see where their address is, I can reach out there as well. If I do have permission to enroll that consumer on their behalf or want to work on the phone, I can start the enrollment workflow from where they left off. And again, that is uh, the same process we saw right there at the beginning. Or if I just want to send them a nudge email saying, hey, I saw you start, started something, uh, you'll have the idea to the ability to email them here and send that off right to your consumer. Same is true down here on the submission side, because all of these applications have been submitted. We see products over here. So I know, for example, that John Doe has three people on his contract. My guess is uh, himself, his wife, and a child. I can see that they enrolled in uh, Blue Cross Local HMO Bronze Secure. They wanted uh, pediatric dental aid 50-50, and they're enrolled in Vision Plan with annual billing. They enrolled due to an SUP and when their effective date was, as well as their submission date. And again, more info and send email options are available to me here. Should I want to get in contact with the Doe family going forward? So that's a quick overview of your dashboard. These compliance docs, especially before we go over to the marketplace, are pretty helpful. Um, so you can be on the right side of all the CMS regs. Renee, I want to check in with you, though. Is there anything we need to add about the dashboard or any questions out there from our agent partners we need to attend to? No questions at this time, Randy, but it's also very important that if an, uh, agents update their email address or their phone numbers to share that with our team so that we can make certain that uh, IT updates that information for you on your Coverage for One platforms. Absolutely. You never want your customer to see something that's out of date, right? If they're trying to get a hold of you, uh, it could be bad news bears. Okay, so we also today want to talk a bit about what happens when we go on Marketplace. So all you need to do once you're logged in here is click over here, start quote. And it's going to bring you to our enhanced direct en enrollment pathway powered by Stride Health. If you have created an account before, you'll just click login. If you have not created an account, you'll also click login, create account. Uh, you'll click there because I've already created an account. It's going to bring me over here. The account creation process is pretty straightforward. I'll walk you through connecting your account with CMS to make sure that you are certified and ready to sell on the marketplace. Um, and again, anyone on our team is happy to help you out with that here as well. But let's take a look at what our marketplace uh, platform provides to you. Up here at the top nav bar, you can always come back to your dashboard here. If you need to call us for help, we're always just a step away. And you also have some opportunity to change some account settings and log out of your system here too. You'll see here that your name comes up as well as your NPN. So that way you know any business you do is attributed to you here. Uh, that could be helpful, especially if you are working in a multi-agency or a multi-agent shop rather, want to always verify that you are the person logged in and maybe not your colleague who might have been using your computer. And if you know you want to send someone directly to the marketplace, you have your broker link you can copy here and put in emails, websites, so on and so forth as well. By the way, if I uh, remember back when we were on the consumer side, of things. If your consumer says they are interested in seeing uh, marketplace plans, they are interested in subsidies, they're going to be directed here inside to uh, our en enhanced direct enrollment pathway. So they'll see a similar experience to where, what we're about to see here in just a moment. On the rest of my dashboard, I see how many contacts I have in the quoting phase, how many apps I have in progress, and how many apps have been effective uh, because this is a, uh, my environment, I don't produce here at Action Benefits. I don't compete with you, but I have an NPN just so I can show you all this stuff. I don't have any active apps, so I hope that eventually you will have more than my zero. I can also see, I uh, filter my dashboard by who's in the quoting phase, who's become a client, and all of them. I can search by name here in my filter, search by the state I'm working in. Yes, you can, if you are licensed in, in multiple states and employed in multiple states, you can choose multiple states here. 
You, we're going to look on exchange here as well as look at the status here. Down below, I have a preview of my contacts, a link to their email so I can reach out to them. I can see what they're interested in, what their premium would be, the last time they were active here, whether they're in progress or quoting. And I have the option to resume that uh, application or uh, with them or resume that quote with them, as well as the option to uh, view that client, get more information about them here as well. Uh, Renee, before we dive into that quoting phase, want to check in. Is there anything that we need to address either with the chat or anything that's sticking out for you on the dashboard here? Nope. Doing a great job, Randy. Thank you. So let's dive into the fun stuff. Let's see the power of our enhanced direct enrollment pathway. We'll click start a quote. Maybe I want to see plans in Wixom. That's the first zip code I remember because it's where I live. I know that there's 149 health plans available in Oakland County. That's good news. I also know I'm shopping for coverage year 2023 here at the moment because 2024 isn't live yet. I can either shop for child-only coverage. And by the way, we should point out that for if your consumer had filled out information about themselves in that consumer journey we showcased a while ago, uh, so their family size, who's applying for coverage, that does get pulled over to this side um, as well. So they won't have to do that again. But if we're starting whole, whole cloth, a new application here on the marketplace, and me as the agent, I'm initiating this application, of course, I've got to start from the beginning here. So we'll give them a date of birth. We'll say they're a male. They're not a tobacco user, not enrolled in Medicare. I can add spouses or dependents here. Uh, for brevity's sake, we will not do so here at this time. We'll get that income estimate. So there's only me listed on this tax return here. We'll have the opportunity to estimate income. Again, according to that MAGI formula. And if I need to know what to include in that MAGI, MAGI formula, I can use these knowledge center links. We popped over here. Uh, these go directly to healthcare.gov. So it's straight from the horse's mouth as to what should or should not be included. Let's say this person makes 45,000 a year. I'm gonna add that income here and that's our estimated annual income. So let's see if we're eligible for a subsidy by clicking calculate subsidies. So I can see that I do have an estimated subsidy of $43 a month available to me with some plans starting as low as $0 a month. Please note again that this is an estimate, just like anywhere else you do that, right? And it's it's an estimate until all that things those things go final. So as you are talking with your clients, uh, please educate them around that. But if you uh, do find or your clients find they forgot to include something in their calculations here, they can always recalculate subsidies and enter more information there as well. From here, I can choose to see those plan results and move there right away. Or, and here's the magic of the platform, ladies and gentlemen, or I can add health information to personalize those plan results. So perhaps uh, this applicant does have a preferred doctor. Maybe I, I want to go actually to Farmington and I want to see Sanders Saab. And so I can go ahead and add that doctor here. And that's going to be someone that the system checks to see uh, what plan she works with. I can see right away she accepts 122 plans. Well, that's good news. If I had more doctors to add, I could do that here as well. If I want to add prescription drugs, that's always a good idea because here's where you're saving time, right? You don't have to go with formulas by hand because the computer is going to do it for you. Maybe they take albuterol sulfate and they take it as a nep through a nebulizer. You're going to choose the appropriate dose here, how often they get that filled, which family member takes it, and add that to the uh, this as well. If you want to add other drugs, the process is fairly simple. You simply click add another prescription. You can also uh, say whether or not the applicants have a health condition. And what this does in the background is we all know that plans have various ways of meeting the needs of chronic conditions. So this is checking how those plan, uh, the plans cover those uh, services for chronic conditions. So if they're taking albuterol, it's a good bet they have asthma here. Um, so we'll check that here as well. We'll add that for the primary applicant. 
And now that we've got some personalized information here, the system is going to do some, some research for us and see what plans might be a good fit for them. So now that we're here, we can uh, see a few things here. I've got filters like deductible range, network, carrier, and tier um, to work with here. If I need to change the information up here, the pencil will let me do that. I can sort by lowest premium. I can choose, compare, see what the premium uh, per month is, as well as how subsidies have impacted that. Look at deductibles, out-of-pocket maxes, tiers, and plan type. But wait, you say, Randy, I don't work with U.S. Health and Life Insurance Company. I don't offer the Ascension personalized I care bales bronze too, and that's okay. We'll filter down to Blue Cross. We'll filter down to Priority and see what happens for us here. So coming up to the top again, because we sorted by lowest premium here, uh, what is coming up with us is that local HMO Bronx Secure. We'll see that. Um, let's see, maybe see what priority has to offer here as well. And also maybe we wanna take a look at a uh, bronze extra over here just to see what it's like. All I've got to do once I've got these three together is click compare. And here in the compare side, I'll see how these plans are rated, see the, the name of each plan. If I want to enroll without seeing anything else, I can do that too. Should also note that I have a toggle up here to look at how pl these plans work both pre-deductible and post-deductible. So every number I see here as I go down um, will show me what happens pre-deductible. But I should also point out that this row here, plan features, tells us whether or not the doctor is in network with that plan and whether or not the drugs are covered with that plan. So Sandra Saab, right, um, she participates with, that ex with the Metro Detroit network, but not with local HMO and not with Ascension St. John Providence. So out of those three plans, that's probably the better fit for my client here, even though it's a little more on premium. And of course, you can go back and change those. But I also see how things are covered before deductible, and I can toggle that to see post-deductible as well. So once I've met my deductible, what are we taking a look at here? If I want to get this off to the client, I can just click the print button. I'm going to get a nice PDF that has all that same information. I can give, give all of them to them as well. Uh, you can send over. But for now, we'll go ahead and click back because there's a few more things I want to show you. So maybe on the view more tab, I want to, I also have the option again to see the uh, view more about that plan. I can see how things work pre and post deductible. I can access the SBC, the form there and provider list here as well. If I want to, if I do want to double check any of that by hand, um, but that's the key part I wanted to show you here as well. Let's see, say for example, though, they are interested in that uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield Michigan plan, that local HMO Bronx Secure, we're going to go ahead and enroll them. Before we can enroll them, we know who they are. So if this is sample, make sample, we're getting real creative with our names here, who has an email address of our low reduction benefits.com and that phone number, we'll go ahead and click continue. We'll be asked to save some information about the applicant and confirm that uh, plan going forward. So we'll see what the premium is with subsidy. We'll be able to look here. If I want to go back and choose a different plan, I can. I can go through and look at the applicant information here as well. And uh, if we all looks good here, we can move on to the enrollment phase. And this is going to take us to what you probably know. It looks like a lot like the marketplace application. We'll continue the application process and, and show you what it looks like. So we can start by searching the marketplace, but heads up, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's some attestations you've got to take a look at down here. So does this consume, are you working with them by phone? You've confirmed their identities. We've got to look at that or not. If you're working with the consumer in person, there's some options for you there as well. You're going to need that you to document that you've had consent, right? And, and that you've uh, received documentation, documentation and permission to act on their behalf. That's where these forms here that we provide you in uh, the coverage for one, your coverage for one portal come in, right? So on this side, it doesn't collect that consent for you, but it 
does remind you, you need, you need to collect that consent and keeping these forms on hand for 10 years is your way to do that. Um, so I am going to go ahead and search the market, oh, search the marketplace for this person. All right, there's not an exact, uh, existing application here, so I'm going to go ahead and start a new application. And everything here looks as you're familiar with. We're going to start by looking in Michigan. We're going to start uh, looking at coverage year. There's disclaimers here. And that will accept and continue. And again, there's more information that uh, your consumer must might put in here. For this case, I'm not going to go through and submit the app because we are in the live, live portal here. So I'm going to pretend I don't have it uh, associated. Uh, we'll click no. We'll choose. I uh, will not select any of that information here. We'll save and continue. Uh, we'll use that same email address going forward. Uh, we can get information about the application here. Choose how you want to be contacted. Choose preferred language for your client and go forward all the way through to you get through the rest of the marketplace application, which if you've been working on marketplace does look pretty familiar for you, I would imagine. Uh, Renee, while I get back to our dashboard, anything else to add about the application process or any questions we should attempt to here? Uh, there are no new questions, Randy, and nope, everything looks good. So doing a great job. All right, thank you. Let me get a sip of water here. So if I've got these clients here, right? Um, again, if I do wanna find more information about that client, I can open up their portal here. I can resume resume quotes for them and move forward in the process. I always have the option to come back to the dashboard here as well and start that portion of the process too. Uh, so lots of things we can take a look at here. We should also mention that uh, should your, your client get over and complete the application here, which I'm unable to do here in my live environment, our, our, our sandbox had some issues here this morning, but when your client completes that, you can submit your binder payments uh, here through the dashboard here as part of the application process. Uh, so no need to go back and get that. And when should this roll over to next year, right, to, to open enrollment 2024, uh, all the information is here. You'll be able to contact your, cover, your clients about renewals going forward and see exactly what their status here is here going forward as well. I unfortunately here in the live environment, I'm, I'm unable to complete that because I don't have a real uh, person that I can put information in for. So that said, uh, if that is the our marketplace side, quoting and enrolling is just as easy as we made it look. Uh, that portion of the presentation took about 15 minutes or so. Again, that on marketplace app um, is exactly like the on marketplace app you would see anywhere else. We'll take you back over here to our dashboard here, um, and we'll uh, check in with Renee for any parting thoughts you have before we open up to our team or our participants here for some questions and answers. The only thing I can think of is that if an agent needs us, our team, the individual team, to send another copy of their link email, uh, their link to them, we'd be happy to do that. I know sometimes some agents, um, they request, can you know, can you just send us a link to my coverage for one? And we can do that. We'd be happy to do that. Absolutely. We are happy to do that for you. The other thing uh, we should always point out is that maybe you don't have a link configured yet, right? Maybe you're brand new to us here. Um, we're not partnered with us. As soon as uh, you do bring some under 65 business under action, we do set this portal up for you and your account manager will be in touch with you right away about that. And again, all of this is available to you at absolutely no cost. So that is a great thing to know going forward. All that said, I want to uh, open it up here to any questions and answers. I'll take a look at the chat and the Q&A feature here as well, see what's available from our uh, coming in from our agent partners. And I do see questions, actually, some clients' questions coming in about uh, those consent forms, right? So again, uh, you don't have the forms collected for you uh, inside that EDE pathway. So you can go ahead and produce those forms, right? These forms need to be retained for 10 years, just like you would your scopes of appointment in the Medicare space. 
Uh, so maybe you have some room in your filing cabinet. You, you want to put these in so uh, it goes all together. Uh, this form over here, that review of marketplace eligibility application information, again, that needs to be uh, completed by your client each time that they do update something uh, to make sure everything they put in the application is truthful. All that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was a good clarifying question. Thank you for that. Uh, we are uh, all done with the presentation portion of today's session. I good bird's eye view of how the off-market and on-marketplace journeys look together.